Hi guys and welcome to another video from Total Technic. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to remove your double DIN uh, stereo system. So this is the uh, the double height. This is an Audi Symphony uh, stereo in this case. Uh, however, the uh, the basic principle of all the double DINs is the same. Uh, so we're going to be showing you how to remove your double DIN stereo system from your Audi A4, S4 uh, or RS4, B6 and B7 models. Okay, these are the uh, the tools that you need uh, to remove the uh, the Audi stereos. Most of the uh, Audi stereos of, of this kind of age use this uh, this same uh, this same type of tool. Um, so as you can see, you've got a straight edge on one side and a curved edge with a notch on the other. Uh, these can be bought uh, fairly inexpensively on eBay. However, when you do buy your set of these, if you don't own them already, make sure that you buy a set that comes with four of these. Uh, rather than two uh, because uh, the two will remove a single din stereo but for the double din you are going to need four so if you don't have one of these kits already and you're about to buy one uh, do double check that it definitely will come with four of these and then we can uh, get the stereo removed okay so the uh, the tool that we have here uh, there's actually four slots uh, that these uh, these tools will fit into you can see the two on the uh, bottom quite uh, clearly there there's one uh, just here in this corner uh, there's another just here there's a third one here, just above this button here, and finally one at the top here. So it's essentially one in each corner. And what you need to do when you insert the, uh, the tool, the curved side of the tool always faces the center of the unit. Okay, so the flat edge always faces the outside of the unit. And what you want to do when you feed this in is don't force it in. You should feel, when you push it in, you should feel a little bit of resistance, but like a, a spring kind of resistance. There. And it should, if it goes in, goes in properly, you should get a nice solid click like that. So let's just try putting these in quickly. Like I said, don't force them. If it feels wrong, just take it out and try putting it back in again. Until you get a nice little click like that. This is what you want, this kind of a spring resistance. You can see it's pushing out against me. That's, that's perfect. If you get that, you know it's uh, going to go in correctly. And the last one. There, so all four have clicked into place. So I'm now ready to take this unit out. Okay, so with the uh, the four tools in place here, uh, we're ready to uh, to pull this out. Now, when you uh, pull, try and put a bit of pressure on these. If the stereo has been in and out quite a few times, you might find that some of these ping out. Uh, in which case, obviously, you just put them straight back in. And you may find that one corner sticks whilst the others, the others free up. So it's a little bit of a balancing game. I find that the best way of doing it is to take opposite corners. Oh, this one's nice and easy. Uh, but if you get one that's a bit sticky, is take opposite corners and give it a bit of a wiggle in this manner until eventually the whole unit will slide forward. Now, another thing to, uh, to point out, obviously, we don't have the, uh, the gear stick here. Uh, what I normally do when I, before I uh, remove the stereo is I'll put a blanket over the uh, top of the uh, of the gear uh, lever here. Uh, that's because the uh, the bottom of these units is uh, it's like um, machined steel or aluminium. And sometimes it can have sharp edges. And what you don't want to do is when you're trying to disconnect the connections, I'm going to show you in, in a second, you don't want to be rubbing over the top of the gear stick because you're going to scratch a nice nice leather gear stick uh, uh, knob there as well. So just be a little bit careful with that. Put a blanket on it and then when you draw this unit out you can sit it quite happily on top of the gear stick uh, without the uh, the fear of getting it scratched whilst you're working on the back. So that's units, the unit removed and I'll show you the, uh, the connections to be disconnected now. Okay, now the connections on the rear, uh, the type of plugs can uh, vary a little bit depending on uh, what type of stereo you have. But you should find something similar to this. That's your uh, main aerial there. Got a smaller Fakra aerial here. Uh, there's a little tab on it, push that down. And this is the part that's most likely to, uh, to vary. On this particular one, we can see we've got these little, uh, this, these little push tabs. So let's push those down and take them out one by one. This one's got a push tab on both sides. Oops, nearly. And so that is your double DIN stereo, uh, completely removed from the car and ready to go. Just a uh, quick note for you to show you how the uh, the tools work. Uh, this might be quite helpful if you do get one that's uh, that's uh, sticking and not quite doing what it should. But basically on the uh, on the side of the unit here, you've got these kind of uh, metal straps here, and uh, as you can see here, they're kind of uh, they're spring loaded. 
So if you look kind of down in the in the gap there, you can see uh, the little notch in the tool. You can see this moving backwards and forwards like so. Okay, so what you want to do to actually release it, release the tool, is I'm just going to spin that around. I do apologise. Just press that in, and that will allow you to to release the uh, the tool like so. And when I let go of that, you can see that the whole uh, the whole thing springs back out. So when you push the tool in, it holds it in. That allows you to, to slide it out and obviously when the tool's not there it bounces out and that's what locks it in uh, behind the uh, center console there now uh, sometimes what happens is these can get bent or damaged uh, if they if it, the stereo has been moved incorrectly or been uh, in and out of the car lots of times sometimes these can get damaged and they can they can prove a little bit tricky uh, but as long as you know kind of how that works uh, that should help you uh, if you do get one uh, one corner of this which is uh, causing you a bit of pain and aggravation uh, but that's the basis of how they work